Hello art lovers. Thank you for supporting my channel. It inspires me to make even more interesting videos for you. Francois Boucher, 1703-1770, was an outstanding French Rococo painter, known for his idyllic and voltaic works on classical themes as well as his depictions of love and family life. Born in Paris in 1703, Boucher was named after his father, an artesian craftsman and engraver. From the age of 17, Boucher was apprenticed in the studio of François Lemoigneur, an exceptionally talented artist of the time, and by the age of 20 he had already won the prestigious Prix de Rome, which allowed him to visit Rome and deepen his knowledge of art. After his return to Paris in 1731, Boucher became increasingly popular and recognized. In 1734 he was admitted to the Royal Academy of Arts, and as early as 1765 he became its director. Boucher also held the position of royal painter at the court of Louis XV, creating works that reflected the rich and refined atmosphere of the royal court. One of Boucher's most famous works is The Toilet of Venus, painted in 1751. In this painting he depicted Venus, the goddess of love, surrounded by plump cupids enjoying the luxury of her toilet. Boucher skillfully used his palette to convey the subtleties of human skin and fabric, creating a sense of reality in his paintings. Another famous painting by Boucher is Aurora and Cephalus, painted in 1733. This painting shows the rise of Aurora, the goddess of dawn, who awakens her lover Cephalus. Boucher created a scene full of romantic and mythological symbolism. Although famous for his paintings, Boucher was also a talented engraver, designer of theatrical sets and even fabrics. He was a sought-after artist and worked on projects ranging from designing porcelain figurines to creating sketches for fabrics and wallpaper. Boucher's work had a significant influence on 18th-century French painting. Although his style was eventually superseded by the more austere and classical neoclassicism, his works continue to inspire and fascinate audiences. François Boucher died in Paris in 1770, leaving behind a rich legacy. The artist remains one of the most recognizable names in Rococo art, and his works continue to fascinate with their refinement and detail. Thank you for your comments. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.